Chapter 756, Rescue Xiao Yan rushed toward the Black Mountain Fortress that Yan Cheng had mentioned in a lightning-like manner after having left Qing Shan Town. Xi Yan was following close behind him. After he had broken through to the Dou Huang class, Xiao Yan's flying speed was clearly much faster than it was in the past. His body was like a falling star as it flew through the sky. Within a couple of blinks, he had disappeared into the horizon. Even though there would occasionally be some gazes pausing in the sky, they could only see a ray of light that leaped and flashed a couple of times. Xiao Yan flew at his maximum speed. His face was covered with a solemnness. The matter that had occurred within this Jiuma Empire was completely beyond his expectations. He also felt a little fearful as he recalled the problems. It was fortunate that Queen Medusa had intervened this time around. Otherwise, it was likely that the Yan Alliance and the Jiuma Empire would have been destroyed by the Chu Yun Empire. At that time, his Xiao clan would have been completely eliminated even without the Hall of Souls doing anything. Poison Sect The wild wind that blew by him caused his hair to emit a hoo-hoo sound, revealing a pair of dark black pupils that had turned unusually dense and cold. A dragon had a reverse scale, a sensitive part. Those who touched it would die. Xiao Yan's reverse scale was his kin. He would definitely get whoever dared to touch them to repay over a hundredfold. Xi Yan secretly extended her small tongue when she saw Xiao Yan's dark and cold expression from behind Xiao Yan. She did not dare to be mischievous. All she could do was raise her speed and follow close behind Xiao Yan. With Xiao Yan's and Xi Yan's speed, they would not require a long time even if they had to fly over the entire Jiuma Empire. Hence, the stretching mountain range around them had become shorter after their flight continued for around two hours. Enormous flat land that was covered in yellow sand began to appear within their sight. Xiao Yan also sighed in relief when the flat land appeared in his sight. He clearly knew that since he was near a flat land region, it indicated that he was not very far from the Black Mountain Fortress that Yan Cheng had mentioned. During this swift flying that seemed like it was an attempt to chase the moon and stars, Xiao Yan saw quite a number of human flow fleeing. Clearly, many people held a pessimistic attitude toward the current situation in the Jiuma Empire. After all, the alliance between three large empires was really too strong. It was clearly difficult for a Yan alliance without its chief and Queen Medusa to bear this burden. Xiao Yan's heart also grew gloomier as he observed the panic on faces of those fleeing. This was the first time in so many years that he had seen such a scene within the Jiuma Empire. The creator of this was the alliance of the three large empires. Xiao Yan's eyes narrowed. A dark, chilly glint flashed across them. He clenched his fist tightly and the fire wings on his back were flapped. His flying speed suddenly soared. There were hardly any people on the vast flat land, causing it to appear quite desolate. Suddenly, the slight sound of rushing wind appeared in the sky. Two light rays suddenly flashed and rushed by. The two light rays had just appeared when they suddenly trembled. A large and a small figure were revealed in the sky. What is it? Xi Yan doubtfully asked when she saw Xiao Yan had suddenly stopped. Was this fellow not in a great rush to hurriedly cover lots of distance earlier? There are three auras which are quite strong over there. However, the person in front is clearly fleeing. Those two auras that are following closely behind are clearly intending to chase after the first person, Xiao Yan knit his brows slightly. His eyes looked in the northern direction of the plains. He hesitated for a moment before his spiritual perception spread out like flood water from between his eyebrows. Within a short instant, he had absorbed the distant situation into his head. An expert from the snake people race Hui. Xiao Yan's spiritual perception swiftly shrank back. He had already clearly saw that the person who was fleeing at the front was an expert Dou Wang from the snake people race. The two people behind were two experts from some unknown empire. However, it was obvious that they were not from the Jiuma Empire. Additionally, the thing that caused Xiao Yan to be most surprised about was that the expert from the Snake People race, who was fleeing, was actually someone whom he was familiar with. 
A strange expression flashed across Xiao Yan's face as he recalled the matter from back then. His body immediately moved and shot explosively toward the northern area. No matter how one put it, the Snake People race were currently the ally of the Jiama Empire. Moreover, even if it was on the account of Ca Lin, he ought to lend a hand and rescue that person. You may appeared quite miserable today. This was the first time she was fleeing aimlessly in any way she could after so many years. The people who bestowed such miserable treatment on her were those two blue figures who were following a short distance behind her. These two damn bastards. Once my injuries recover, I will definitely tear off all the flesh on your bodies and feed that little beloved of mine. Yu Mei's snake tail pressed on the ground in a strange manner. Each time it moved, her body would suddenly shoot forward a certain distance. While she fled, she did not forget to turn her head and look at the two figures behind in a vicious manner while she cursed. Ugh, but the Ling Yan city has already fallen. This time around, it is likely that quite a number of people from the three sects will enter the empire. It is really troublesome. Yu Mei was originally a guardian of Ling Yan City. By relying on her seven star Do Wang strength, she had successfully defeated and forced back some experts from the three sects who had attempted to siege the city a couple of times. This time around, she had lost her good luck. No one expected that the three sect alliance would actually dispatch three experts of the Do Wang class to a city that was not very large in size. Moreover, there was one person whose strength was actually at the 8-star level. The result of three expert Do Wang's leading troops to attack the city was very obvious. Yu Mei had seriously injured the other party's Do Wang before being seriously wounded by the other party's 8-star expert Do Wang. After which, she could only abandon the city and flee. However, it was fortunate that she had bought time for quite a number of people in the city to flee. Hence, most of the people had already left when this large army entered Ling Yan City. It was also because of this that she had caused the other party's expert Do Wangs to become this furious. One Do Wang stayed behind to guard the city while the remaining two expert Do Wangs continued to chase her without giving up. From the looks of it, it seemed that they had the intention of not giving up until they caught her. Of course, similar to the miserable appearance of Yu Mei, the two middle-aged men, whose blue clothes displayed a bright gold goose sewn on it, also presented quite a bad image. Although Yu Mei was seriously injured, her strange agility Do Chi from the Snake People race caused the two of them to have difficulty catching up to her. It was unavoidable that an irritation would appear in their hearts as more time passed. However, when they recalled that this was an order that came from the top, they could only stifle their heads and continue the wild chase. Damn it! Once I capture that woman, the old me wants to ruthlessly torture her. Otherwise it will be difficult to eliminate the hatred in my heart. A gloomy-faced middle-aged man stared intently at the partially visible figure not far in front. Even though she was fleeing miserably at this moment, that graceful back still revealed some allure. Hee <laughs> hee, I heard that the tongue skill of the snake people race is unusually fabulous. In our Luoyan Empire, a snake people race female servant can be sold for an unusually high price. I just don't know whether this Do Wang class pretty female snake will be more comfortable compared to those ordinary female servants. The other person revealed a lewd expression as he sinisterly laughed. The expression of the gloomy-faced middle-aged man moved a little when he heard this. He laughed darkly and nodded as he said, In that case, it is all the more so that we cannot let her escape. Let's put in more effort. Do not enter too deep into the Jiama Empire. Otherwise, it would be troublesome if we were to meet other experts. Yes. A bright gold glow erupted from the bodies of the two of them after their voices sounded. A pair of geese golden light wings was extended from each of the two people's back. The golden wings were flapped and their speed immediately soared. Yu Mei, who was exhausted from fleeing at the front, had also sensed wind get closer from behind her. She clenched her silver teeth and went all out to stimulate the dochi within her body. However, how could this seriously injured body of hers withstand this great squeezing by her? The dochi glow on her body became much dimmer. 
Her snake tail also suddenly became weak and her entire body collapsed weakly. She panted while fragrant perspiration dripped down. Oh, why? You're too tired to continue running. The two golden lights flashed over the instant that you may fell. One was at the front while the other was at the back, sealing off all her escape routes. A middle-aged man's gaze slowly swept over the former's snow-white waist, and the corner of his mouth was lifted in an obscene manner, I have yet to taste a snake people race Do Wong female slave. Some darkness surfaced within Yu Mei's long snake eyes. A bewitching smile, however, appeared on her face while she spoke to the two of them, You can just tell me if you want me to serve you. Why do you need to chase me this far? KK, forget it. We don't have the blessing to enjoy you who gives herself to us. It would not be too late for us to slowly play once we capture you and cripple your dochi. A middle-aged man laughed. His eyes were dark and solemn and he immediately cried out coldly, Attack! Don't dilly-dally with her! The middle-aged man's companion smiled and nodded when he heard this. The hands of both of them moved in a golden glow sword. It suddenly agglomerated into two five-foot-tall golden geese, which were immediately pointed to Yume. The two large golden-colored geese immediately emitted a sharp cry to the sky. Their wings were flapped and they shot toward Yume. The force that the golden geese arrived with was extremely sharp. Two deep gullies were even formed when they shot over the ground. Yume clenched her silver teeth when she looked at the sharp golden glow that was swiftly approaching. She maneuvered the little remaining dochi in her body before waving her delicate hand. Her dochi transformed into a dochi pillar that shot out to meet the two golden geese. Bang! A muffled explosion sounded when the two came into contact. The dochi pillar of Yume disappeared at a speed that was visible to the naked eye. The two golden geese, whose color had become slightly fainter, carried a sharp wind and shot over. Yume's eyes slowly became dark after having exhausted the last thread of dochi within her body. The current her ceased having even a little strength to put up a resistance. However, the poison within her mouth could still prevent her from being humiliated by these two bastards by dying. The bright golden glow swiftly magnified in those snake eyes that contained despair. Just as Yume had slowly shut her eyes, the slight sound of rolling thunder suddenly resonated in the sky without any forewarning. A black figure immediately appeared in front of her in a ghost-like manner. Those two golden geese that contained a sharp wind disappeared when they were around five feet from his body. Yume was feeling doubtful when the intense pain that she had anticipated did not arrive. However, a warm voice slowly sounded beside her ear. Are you all right? Yume was startled when she heard the voice. She suddenly opened her eyes and a young face containing a smile immediately appeared within her sight. Chapter 757, Snake Person Yume Yume's gaze carried a little surprise as she looked at the young face that wore a warm smile. For some unknown reason, Yume had the feeling that this face was somewhat familiar. However, she was unable to recall where she had seen it. You someone from the Jiuma Empire. The snake pupils swept over the black-robed, young man in front of her while she asked with some caution. Xiao Yan could not help but smile when he saw the alert manner of Yu Mei. He immediately nodded and said, Relax, I am someone from the Jiuma Empire. Yu Mei only quietly sighed in relief when she heard this. She had just struggled to stand up when the sore weak feeling that was emitted from her body caused her to fail in her attempt. She could only let out a ferocious sigh. A round medicinal pill that emitted a serene fragrance appeared in front of her in her helplessness. A laugh soon followed, you can try eating it if you are not afraid that it is poison. You may hesitated a little as she received the medicinal pill. A momentary struggle appeared in her heart before she finally clenched her silver teeth and swallowed the medicinal pill into her stomach. A warm medicinal strength immediately began to spread to her limbs and bones when the medicinal pill entered her stomach, expelling much of the weak feeling within her body. You may only began to completely relax upon sensing the change within her body. She raised her head and revealed a friendly smile to the black-robed, young man. She said, Thank you very much. I am Yume from the Snake People race. 
Xiao Yan felt that it was somewhat comical in his heart. He studied this fierce beautiful female snake. She had clenched her teeth back then and intended to drag him back to be her male slave, but now she was displaying such a gentle smile toward him. He immediately turned his head over and threw his gaze toward the two middle-aged men whose expressions had become unusually dense and dark after he had appeared. Be careful. These two people are experts from the Gold Geese sect of the Luoyan Empire. Their strengths are all at the Dou Wang class and cannot be underestimated. You may also recovered some strength with the medicinal strength of the medicinal pill. She moved her snake tail and lifted her lovely body. Those snake pupils looked at the two people in front in a dark and cold manner as she spoke. Gold Geese sect. Xiao Yan raised his brow slightly and nodded in silence. This friend, we should just keep to our own business. I advise you not to be a busybody. Otherwise, you might even throw your life away. The gloomy-faced middle-aged man stared intently at Xiao Yan as he slowly spoke. Currently, Xiao Yan had formally advanced into the Dou Huang class. It was only natural that these two people were unable to sense his true strength. However, from the way Xiao Yan had resolved their joint attack earlier, it was obvious that he was not weak. Hence, these two people held a fear within their hearts and did not immediately attack. Xiao Yan laughed when he heard this. His body, which was standing in front of Yu Mei, did not move. Although he did not say anything, his actions already told the two experts from the Gold Geese sect of his intentions. He he, you people from the Jiuma Empire are really warm-hearted. I, Jin Zhen, admire it. However, if you insist on intervening, you can only blame yourself for having a poor fate. A denseness gradually rose within his eyes. That middle-aged man who called himself Jin Zhen laughed coldly and shook his head. He immediately spoke in a deep voice to his companion by his side, let's attack together and kill him. That companion smiled darkly and nodded. Given the strength of the two of them, they could be considered an overlord of a region even in the Luoyan Empire. Perhaps it was their good luck but during this period of time when they were fighting with the Jiuma Empire, the two of them had seldom met anyone who was a match for them other than some of the renowned experts from the Yan Alliance. Hence, their hearts involuntarily looked down on the Jiuma Empire. A bright golden glow surged out from their bodies after the words from the two of them sounded. A sharp golden glow lingered over their bodies and slowly rotated, leaving behind numerous scar-like deep marks on the ground. Yu Mei's expression changed a little when she saw the action of these two as she stood behind Xiao Yan. Although she could guess that the latter was likely quite strong, there would definitely be quite a great risk if he were to deal with two expert Dou Wangs who collaborated well with each other. I will act and hold back one of them later. If you are able to defeat the other person, you should do it as quickly as possible. This is because I can at the very most endure for a short while. Yu Mei mused for a moment before gritting her silver teeth and speaking to Xiao Yan in front of her in a deep voice. Xiao Yan was startled when he heard this. However, he smiled and shook his head. He said, How can you fight with your current injuries? You should rest. Leave them to me. Yu Mei was a little stunned when she saw that Xiao Yan was actually intending to fight the two alone. She turned her head and looked deeply into the young man's face which contained a smile. She softly said, It is best that you don't overexert yourself. Who cares if you are overexerting yourself? Today, quite a strong person's head will be added to the list of exploits of the both of us. Jin Zhen laughed coldly. He clenched his palm and a weapon with a somewhat unusual shape appeared in his hand. This weapon was somewhat like a golden ring but its outside edge was covered with a sharp hidden thorn. The purple glint that faintly appeared on the hidden thorn was clearly covered with a lethal poison. His companion also took out a similar item after Jin Zhen had taken out this weapon. Be careful, this is an unique weapon of the Gold Geese sect, Goose Feather Ring. It is extremely tricky and vicious. Moreover, if it is used in collaboration with their Qi method and can be quite strong. Yu Mei's face changed when he saw the weapons in the hands of the two individuals. She hurriedly warned. Hey, 
it is unexpected that you actually have quite a great understanding of our gold geese sect. However, this cannot save both of your lives. Jin Zhen sinisterly laughed. He threw a look to his companion and the both of them immediately began to spread apart in an abrupt manner. One of them charged suddenly at Xiao Yan while the other person struck at Yu Mei who was behind Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan's eyes were as unmoving as an old well as he studied the two people who had swiftly flashed over. He slowly shook his head. They were merely two Dou Wangs. Even before he had broken through to the Dou Huang class, he could easily have killed them, much less now. Yu Mei watched the expert from the Gold Geese sect who had taken a roundabout route and headed toward her. Her eyes immediately became cold and she clenched her hand. A sharp long sword appeared in her hand. Just as she was prepared to move, a hand suddenly grabbed her snow white wrist. Yu Mei was surprised when her hand was clenched. However, she had yet to speak when Xiao Yan pulled her beside him. She raised her head and coincidentally saw that cold and indifferent smile that drew across that young face. Jin Zhen and the other person revealed dark, cold smiles on their mouths when they saw Xiao Yan's act of protecting Yu Mei. Both of their speeds suddenly soared and the goosewing rings in their hands emitted a frightening cold glint under the golden light. Fire Ring Explosion Xiao Yan's mouth moved just as the two figures entered within a ten-foot radius from Xiao Yan. A cold cry was suddenly emitted. A jade green circular fire ring suddenly began to spread in a lightning-like manner with Xiao Yan at the middle. In merely the blink of an eye, it violently struck Jin Zhen and his companion. A clear explosion immediately sounded on this plane. Gurg. The fire ring exploded and two figures, which were violently charging over, immediately stilled. They flew backwards in an extremely miserable posture and finally slowly came to a stop after rubbing on the ground for over ten meters. Mouthfuls of fresh blood were involuntarily spat out. They lifted their heads and their faces were filled with shock as they looked at the grinning black-robed, young man. None of them had ever expected that they would be so miserably defeated by a single attack. Their shocked gazes intertwined from a great distance. They seemed to have thought of something and cold perspiration immediately covered their foreheads. A disbelief was contained in their hoarse voice, Do Huang. The hearts of these two people were filled with a panic when they spat out these words. The young man in front of them appeared to be at the very most around twenty years old. The two of them might be able to grudgingly accept if one said that he was an expert Do Wang. However, if he was a Do Huang, was that not a little too terrifying? However, no matter how they flipped around within their hearts, the frightening energy that was contained in the fire ring was definitely only something that an elite Do Huang could unleash. Since when did such a young elite Do Huang appear in the Jiama Empire? Why have we never heard of it? Yu Mei also widened her small, sleek, red mouth in shock while a storm brewed within the hearts of Jin Zhen and his companion. She had similarly never imagined that this young person beside her would actually be an elite Do Huang. Was this fellow's training talent not a little too frightening? Chi. Chi. Two muffled sounds appeared during the time when Yu Mei was stunned. By the time she raised her head, she could only see Jin Zhen and his companion wildly fleeing backs. Quickly, give chase. Don't let them escape. Yu Mei hurriedly cried when she saw that the two of them were attempting to flee. However, before her voice had finished talking, she was once again speechless as she discovered that Xiao Yan in front of her had already disappeared. This speed, Yu Mei's delicate hand rubbed the cold sweat on her forehead. She could not help but feel a lingering fear in her heart. It was fortunate that this person was an expert from the Jiama Empire. Otherwise, by just relying on this speed, it was likely that no one other than Her Majesty could match him. Two figures fell from the sky during the time that Yu Mei was wiping off her cold perspiration. Finally, they were thrown violently against the ground. She lowered her head to take a look only to see that they were the two gold geese sex experts who had been fleeing earlier. However, it was obvious that those two people were no longer breathing. They ran quite quickly, Xiao Yan's figure also rushed down from the sky. He carelessly kicked the corpses and spoke in an indifferent manner. 
Yu Mei's eyes were startled as she stared at these two people who still ended up in such a state despite having clearly split themselves and fled in two directions. She once again studied Xiao Yan, who was slowly walking over in a leisurely manner. The cold sweat on her forehead became even denser. At this moment, his strength was definitely stronger than those few experts from the Yan Alliance who were at the peak of the Dohuang class. May I inquire about Mr.'s name? Yu Mei finally asked carefully after a few thoughts flashed across her heart. Xiao Yan involuntarily laughed when he saw Yu Mei's cautious manner. A teasing look surfaced on the corner of his mouth as he said, Commander Yu Mei, have you forgotten the little pervert who accidentally saw you bathing in the desert and was chased by you for hundreds of kilometers? The scene from the desert back then suddenly flashed and appeared in Yu Mei's mind when she heard this. She then looked at the somewhat familiar young face once again. A pair of alluring snake eyes suddenly widened. It's you. Chapter 758, Situation Xiao Yan felt it was comical as he looked at this shocked and dull manner of Yu Mei. He said, has Commander Yu Mei recalled it? Yu Mei slowly recovered from her shock when she heard this. Her face alternated between green and white. She would never have thought that this strong person, who could kill two Do Wangs by lifting his hand, would actually be that young man who had fled in a miserable fashion while being chased by her. She recalled that Xiao Yan was merely a Doshi when she had met him back then. Now, however, how was it possible for him to reach this stage within a short few years? Yu Mei's face was volatile. While in astonishment toward this smiling black-robed, young man rose within her heart, her body involuntarily took two steps back. Her voice carried caution as she said, What are you planning to do? Back then, Xiao Yan was chased by her until he became extremely miserable. If he had not met Gu He's group along the way, it was likely that she would have captured him. Hence, Yu Mei was also somewhat worried that Xiao Yan was planning on taking revenge on her by appearing and helping her. Xiao Yan smiled when he saw Yu Mei's cautious and uncertain manner. He waved his hand and said, Relax, Commander Yu Mei. Xiao Yan is not an unforgiving person. I have long forgotten about those matters back then. Yu Mei only quietly sighed in relief when she heard Xiao Yan's words. Immediately, she was shocked as she cried out involuntarily, Xiao Yan? You say that your name is Xiao Yan? Her eyes were filled with doubt as they swept over the former after a surprised voice escaped her mouth. After having fought shoulder to shoulder beside the Yan Alliance for such a long time, she naturally knew that the young chief of the Yan Alliance was named this. The chief of the Yan Alliance. Yu Mei involuntarily cried out again as she blinked her eyelashes and quickly asked a question. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. Yu Mei was startled when she watched Xiao Yan nod his head. It was a moment later before Yu Mei muttered, It is indeed you, how unexpected, the small Doshi from a few years ago is actually the owner of the most powerful faction within the Jiama Empire. Yu Mei's heart could not resist sighing as she said these words. The little fellow whom she could need as she pleased back then was now able to need her as he pleased. This kind of extreme change really caused Yu Mei to feel that things were unreal. I cannot be called its owner. It is just that I have brought some factions within the empire together. Xiao Yan laughed and casually replied. Yu Mei smiled bitterly upon hearing this. These words might be spoken with ease but the difficulty of getting those significantly strong faction to willingly join an alliance was not any less difficult than destroying them all. She also gradually calmed her heart when her gaze glanced at Xiao Yan. She frowned and said, however. You are really acting extremely irresponsibly for an alliance chief. You did not appear even though such big trouble befell the Yan alliance. If not for Her Majesty advancing to the Do Zone class, it is likely that the Yan alliance would have long been eliminated from the Jiama Empire by the three sections. Xiao Yan also laughed bitterly and sighed when he saw Yu Mei's expression. I was undertaking a retreat this time around. By the time I came out, such an important and big thing had unexpectedly happened. That's right, what is the situation like recently? Xiao Yan's expression was stern when he reached the end of his sentence as he asked with a serious face. Very bad, 
Yu Mei's face also gradually became gloomy when she mentioned this. She said, not long ago, Her Majesty exchanged blows with that sect leader of the Poison Sect once. Both parties were injured. That sect leader from the Poison Sect quietly went into hiding after that and seems to be recuperating from the injuries. Her Majesty might also have suffered some injuries but she did not have much time to recuperate. The people from the three sects eyed this opportunity and began attacking. The pressure of the Black Mountain Fortress at the front soared. Although the sect leader from the Poison Sect did not participate this time around, there is Yan Luotian from the Gold Geese Sect and the Mulan Valley's three elders who practiced the Three Beast Savage skill who joined hands and attacked. They are existences who could contend with an elite Do Zone. This time around, Her Majesty is injured and will likely have difficulty blocking their combined attack. Xiao Yan's heart also sank a little when he heard the situation was even worse than what Yan Cheng had described. Medusa was currently the strongest person on the Jiama Empire's side. If she were to be defeated, it would undoubtedly cause their morale to greatly fall. Some of the originally uncertain people might even begin fleeing. At that time, the Jiama Empire would really be finished. Other than the peak level experts, we have also fallen into a disadvantage in terms of the Dohuang and the Dohuang class. After all, the other party is the strongest sex from the three empires. However, overall speaking, we can still barely block them. Hence, the most crucial point in this big fight is the decisive battle among the peak experts of both sides. You may spoke in a solemn manner. However, only Her Majesty on our side is an elite Do Zone. The other party, on the other hand, has three, ugh, if Her Majesty is able to successfully block Yan Luotian and the three elders from the Mulan Valley today, we will still be able to endure for a period of time. If she cannot, we will be completely finished. Yu Mei's expression became darker by the time she spoke until the end. Currently, their snake people race had already been tied with the Jiama Empire on the same boat. If the Jiama Empire were to be defeated, their snake people race would definitely be unable to block the three sect alliance. Yu Mei's fist tightened when she thought of how a countless number of her race would be captured as slaves once the snake people race was defeated. That kind of miserable ending was even worse than death. Xiao Yan slowly nodded. He faced the sky and let out a long breath. This situation was indeed quite bad. Three Do Zones. Bring me to the Black Mountain Fortress. Xiao Yan lowered his head and suddenly spoke in a deep voice a moment later. Xue Mei was not surprised when she heard this. She nodded slightly and sighed, follow me. However, it might make no difference even if you go. Even an expert Dohuang like you would likely not be able to intervene in a battle between the Dozong class. Unless you are able to practice a combined fighting qi method like the three elders from Mulan Valley. From the way she saw it, Despite Xiao Yan being an elite Do Huang, he and the Do Zone class were still separated by a gully that was difficult to cross, much like the difference between a Do Wang and a Do Huang. Xiao Yan quietly smiled when he heard Yu Mei's words. He did not voice any retort. He raised his head to the sky and laughed, Little girl, aren't you coming down? Yu Mei was startled when she saw this action of Xiao Yan. She did not sense the aura of anyone else present in this place. A lovely little figure suddenly flashed down from high in the sky while Yu Mei was feeling uncertain. The latter focused her eyes and discovered that the other party was only a little girl. She was immediately somewhat at a loss. However, when her gaze saw the pair of Do Chi wings on the little girl's back, her loss transformed into a dullness. She involuntarily cried out, She is also an expert Do Wang. If it was said that Xiao Yan's ability to reach the Dohuang class at his age caused Yu Mei to be somewhat astonished, Xi Yan in front of her caused her to suddenly feel uncertain about whether practicing Dou Qi was becoming easier. This thought of hers was confirmed during Xi Yan's next sentence. Xi Yan's body was suspended in midair as she looked down at the ignorant from a high vantage point. She curled her small lips and said, I have just advanced to the Dohuang class a few days ago. Thank you. 
Xiao Yan could not help but smile and shake his head when he saw Yu Mei's eyes become completely dull because of these words from Xi Yan. He said, This girl's original form is a magical beast. Hence, she is not as small as how she appears. All right, we should hurry. The situation at the Black Mountain Fortress is not optimistic. Yu Mei only gradually recovered from her dull state when she heard this. She let out a heavy sigh of relief within her heart. Fortunately, if this little girl had really become an elite Do Huang at such an age, would she not die of embarrassment for still being in the Do Huang class after training for so many years? However, other than consuming a body transformation pill, did a magical beast not need to reach rank 7 in order to transform into a human form? Yu Mei's heart was still somewhat doubtful as she muttered to herself. However, she did not dare to delay any longer. She had recovered some Dou Qi from the medicinal pill that Xiao Yan had given her earlier, enabling her to summon Dou Qi wings. After which, she led the way at the front and flew toward the Black Mountain Fortress. Xiao Yan's body followed close behind Yu Mei. His eyes looked into the distance and he clenched his fist. He muttered, C.A.I. Lin, endure for a little longer. I will be there soon. The Black Mountain Fortress sat on the northeastern border of the Jiama Empire. It was the grandest fortress within a 500-kilometer radius. Ever since it was built, it had stood for a century without falling. During this period of time, it had experienced a couple of big battles, but they were unable to leave behind many scars on this enormous fortress. From this, it could be seen just how solid it was. Currently, the Black Mountain Fortress had become the place where the most intense fights between the Yan Alliance, Snake People Race, and the Three Sects occurred. A couple of crucial battles that could decide the result of the fight had erupted in this place. Today, a big battle that was even more alarming than any other instance was about to erupt in this place. A countless number of gazes were thrown at a specific spot. This was because everyone knew that if Medusa was able to remain undefeated in the face of the joined attack by Yan Luotian from the Gold Geese sect and the three elders of the Mulan Valley, the Jiama Empire might have a chance of catching its breath. If she was defeated, the Jiama Empire, Yan Alliance and the Snake People race would be eliminated from this piece of land. Hence, the big battle today decided whether the Jiama Empire would perish or remain. Chapter 759 Big Battle The vast, endless plains possessed two towering mountain ranges that stood with their peaks piercing the sky. Such a tall mountain range was a place that an ordinary person would have difficulty climbing. An incomparably huge fortress guarded the gap between these two mountain ranges like a fierce prehistoric beast, protecting the main road that lead into and out of the Jiuma Empire. This fortress was the most important defensive line in the hearts of the people of the Jiuma Empire. If this defensive line was torn apart, the three empires' armies would march straight into the Jiuma Empire. The size of the fortress was so large that it left one speechless. Compared to the Zhengui Pass that Xiao Yan had visited back then, it was undoubtedly a junior meeting a senior. The walls of this fortress was completely built from the dark black volcanic rock. It had an unusually frightening toughness. Such a wall would likely be able to hold out for a long time even against the attacks of an elite Do Huang. Densely packed soldiers could be seen all over the fortress wall. There were also countless number of enormous ballistas faintly present. Steel arrows that were as thick as one's thigh had been loaded onto the ballistas and were ready to unleash a frightening strength at any moment. This defensive line was worthy of being as firm as metal under the protection of a countless number of soldiers. Even the Three Empire Alliance would have to pay a hefty and bloody price in order to forcefully attack and tear this defensive line apart. Over ten human figures with quite a great reputation within the Empire stood on the middle of the city wall. At this moment, their gazes carried a thread of worry as they looked at an extremely far spot from the fortress. Densely packed armies rolled out like dark clouds from that spot. At a glance, one could see an endless number of them. From the looks of the large flags that the armies carried, they were the alliance military from the three large empires. Of course, the thing that caused them the most worry was not these ordinary soldiers. Instead it was the three elite Dozongs who were hidden within the army. 
In the eyes of a truly strong person, an ordinary army did not pose much of a threat. As long as one was an expert Do Wang, one would be able to easily defend against a 10,000 man strong army. This was also the reason why the strong possessed a position that exceeded that of royalty on this continent. The strong reigned supreme in the Do Chi continent. Royal authority was second. Ugh, I heard that the ones who have led everyone over this time around are Yan Luotian and the three elders from the Mulan Valley, although the most troublesome sect leader of the poison sect will not appear, this is already enough to feel an extremely great pressure. After all, this is equivalent to two elite Do Zongs. Hai Badong's gaze stared into the distance for a moment before withdrawing it and sighing. The current Hai Badong had truly reached the peak of the Do Huang class where he was comparable to Jia Lao after the repeated big fights during the past year. Breaking through to the Do Zone class was only one step away. Of course, the distance of this one step was such that it was an ordinary thing for one to be unable to cross in one's lifetime if one did not have the opportunity. After all, there were an unknown number of people on the Do Chi continent who had ended up stopping at this stage. Despite this, a Do Huang was ultimately a Do Huang. Unless one possessed some unusual abnormal Do skills, it was basically impossible to leap across the class and challenge an elite Do zone. After all, not everyone was like Xiao Yan. He not only possessed the mysterious flame mantra Qi method but also unique treasures like three heavenly flames and the God Seal skill. I have already dispatched some people to the Black Corner region to search for Second Brother. He will definitely come and lend a hand if he receives the news. However, a distant water source cannot quench one's immediate thirst. It is likely going to be a different situation by the time he leads people over. Xiao Ding, who was seated on a wheelchair, softly sighed. During this period of time, he had spent a great amount of effort and thought in order to deal with the attacks of the three sects. However, the other party had people who were equivalent to three elite Do Zones. This was ultimately a huge weight that was pressing on the hearts of everyone in the Jiuma Empire. Your Majesty, are your injuries all right? Xiao Ding's hand patted gently on his wheelchair before he turned his head to look at the cold pretty face of the bewitching lady beside him. Her moving appearance was indeed a rare beauty in this kind of place that was filled with blood and killing. Perhaps it was due to Xiao Ding's relationship with someone but the coldness on Medusa's bewitching face, which was staring into the distance with cold eyes, slowly became warmer. She said, I have consumed the medicinal pill that the Yan Alliance alchemists have refined and recovered quite a bit. Although my fighting strength is slightly weakened, there are no serious problems. Xiao Ding laughed bitterly and nodded slightly. He said, It's been tough on you. I am also thinking of the snake people race. Now that everyone's relationship is one where the death of anyone will cause the other to suffer, the losses from any single side will result in a destructive end. Medusa shook her head. She turned her head slightly as her eyes looked toward the distant magical beast mountain range. She clenched her silver teeth and sighed within her heart, Have you not come out of your retreat? If you are a little later, it is likely that the Jiuma Empire will really be destroyed. Ugh, I wonder how Third Brother doing. His retreat actually took an entire year. It is best that no accident has happened to him. Xiao Ding also understood what Medusa was thinking when he saw her gaze. He rubbed his forehead and bitterly laughed. This little bastard always plays it like this, if he does not return soon, this Yan alliance will be finished. Hai Badong by his side could not resist opening his mouth to speak when he heard Xiao Ding's words. I think it should be soon. As long as we are able to endure until he comes out from his retreat, the situation will be much better. After all, that fellow may be a Do Huang but if he unleashes his full strength, he is able to contend against an elite Do Zone. At that time, our side will have two elite Do Zones. Even the people from the three sects would not dare to act rashly. If we were to really go into an all-out fight, this queen would at the very least be able to drag one of them down even if I end up dying. Medusa voiced her thoughts. A dense chill immediately flashed across her pupils. That sect leader of the Poison sect, Yan Luotian from the Gold Geese sect, 
and the three elders from the Mulan Valley are afraid that you will do this. Hence, they have not been engaging in a death match with you. However, this time, it is likely that they have made preparations when they join hands. Your Majesty, you should be more careful. Jia Xing Tian by the other side spoke in a deep voice while wearing a respectful expression. Medusa nodded slightly. She was about to speak when a thunder-like drumbeat began to spread over from far away in a mighty manner. It immediately affected the entire fortress. They are about to begin their attack. The expressions of Medusa and the others were tense as they heard this hurried drumbeat. The ground began to tremble not long after the drumbeat sounded. The enormous endless sea of people in the distance began to rush over toward the fortress like ocean waves. The orderly bang as their feet landed on the ground resounded over this place like a thunderous roar, giving people a heavy feeling within their hearts. All the experts Do Wangs from the Yan Alliance and the Snake People race, spread yourself all over the defensive lines. Tightly guard against the enemy's expert Do Wangs. Xiao Ding's expression gradually became solemn as he turned his head and spoke in a stern manner. A large number of people responded behind him upon hearing the order. Immediately, numerous human figures flew out in a lightning-like manner. Everyone, today's big battle affects the survival of our Jiama Empire and the Snake People race. Therefore, let's go all out. Xiao Ding's gaze slowly swept over everyone as he spoke in a deep voice. Everyone nodded their heads heavily with a solemn expression when they heard his words. This battle concerned their survival. While the fortress entered into a battle-ready mode, the black masses of human heads began to flood over amid the loud battle cries that soared to the sky. Numerous rays of light flew through the air above the sea of people. These were the experts from the three sects, the figures who caused the pressure on the black mountain fortress to soar. When the endless black masses of human flow were still around a thousand meters from the fortress, a killing aura surged to the sky with a loud stomping sound. It spread out before covering the entire Black Mountain Fortress into it. The rays of light flew across in the sky while numerous people with Do Chi wings on their backs appeared. Their gazes carried cold smiles as they observed the tightly guarded Black Mountain Fortress. KK, it is really unexpected that your Jiama Empire is so stubborn. You are actually able to endure for nearly a year in the face of our Three Empire Alliance. Even though your Jiama Empire will be completely defeated in this battle, your Jiama Empire's reputation could be considered to have soared in this northwestern region. A powerful wild laugh suddenly sounded while the armies faced each other. Finally, it resounded over the sky. Yan Luo Tian. The face of Medusa and the others in the fortress immediately turned cold upon hearing the laughter. Their mouth spat out a name that was incomparably prestigious within the Luo Yan Empire. A bright golden glow suddenly shot into the sky from the large army after the laughter sounded. It immediately stayed suspended in the sky. Everyone's eyes drifted over, only to see a man who was wearing golden clothes floating in the sky. A pair of unusually large gold-colored goose wings flickered, appearing much like a divine being. The black masses of soldiers immediately erupted into an earth-shaking cheer when this gold-clothed man appeared. Clearly, this Yan Luo Tian possessed an extremely high reputation among them. Medusa's face was icy cold as she looked at Yan Luo Tian. Her body moved and she was already in the sky outside of the fortress the next time she appeared. Her gaze swept over Yan Luo Tian only to laugh, a mere two-star Dozong also dares to act presumptuous in front of this queen. He he, Medusa's beauty has been spread among a number of countries around. You really live up to your reputation. This ancestor, refer to himself as a Dozone, knows that I alone will be no match for you. Hence, I am naturally not intending to fight alone, a cold smile surfaced on the corner of Yan Luo Tian's mouth as he slowly spoke. Haha, you are indeed worthy of being Queen Medusa. You are really a hero among women. Today, allow the three of us and the geese sex leader to exchange blows with you. Three different rays of light shot out from the army below just after Yan Luo Tian's voice sounded. Finally, three smiling elders appeared in the air. Medusa's eyes shrank slightly as she looked at the three old men. Her face was icy as she emphasized every word with a pause. 
Mulan. 3. Elders. Chapter 760, 3 Beast Savage Skill. The three old men who appeared in the sky were wearing green-colored robes. However, there was a lion, a tiger, and a bear on their three respective robes. These drawings did not appear to be something created from ordinary sewing. Instead, they appeared to have been agglomerated from a certain kind of mysterious energy. Hence, when a person's eyes swept over them, the three unusually savage beasts seemed to be staring with their bright red vicious eyes. If it was someone who did not have a strong mental strength, their legs would involuntarily become limp under these violent gazes that were filled with killing intent. Although the auras of these three green-robed old men were merely at the peak of the Dohuang class, a seriousness that was difficult to hide covered Medusa's face. The three beast savage skill that these three people practiced was extremely strange. The fighting strength when they fought together was extremely shocking. Even she had to treat them seriously. The black masses of the army from the Three Empire Alliance outside of the fortress immediately erupted into a thunder-like cheer the moment the three great elders from the Mulan Valley appeared. Compared to the great increase in their morale, Xiao Ding and the others in the fortress felt their hearts slightly sink. Damn it, these shameless bastards. No matter how one puts it, they are experts who possess great reputations in the northwestern region. Yet, they actually bully others with numbers. Hai Badong's expression was ugly as he looked at the three old men who had appeared in the sky. He could not resist cursing angrily. Jia Xing Tian's expression was similarly ugly as he nodded. He mused for a moment, clenched his teeth and said, Why don't the two of us go out and help Medusa block them for a moment? It would be good if we can buy her some time. Hold your horses. If the both of you also attack, the other experts from the three sects would definitely not just stand back and watch. At that time, we will end up bringing forward the eruption of the big battle. It would also be extremely difficult to achieve your intentions. Xiao Ding's expression was solemn as he shook his head and spoke. What do we do then? Don't tell me that we should just watch her get surrounded and attacked. Hai Badong frowned intently as he replied. Ugh, all we can do now is to hope that Queen Medusa will be able to block them. There is no other solution. Xiao Ding bitterly laughed and sighed. Any planning would not help this situation where they were had a disadvantage in all aspects. Hai Badong and Jia Xing Tian could only unwillingly storm their feet when they heard this. They were at a complete disadvantage in this situation. However, it was just as Xiao Ding had said, they had no solution despite knowing that they were at a disadvantage. The number of the other party's elite Dozongs was not lesser than their side. They also had more experts in the Dohuang and Dohuang class. What else could they do but end up in a disadvantageous situation? It would be fine if Xiao Yan was here. With his strength, it should not be too much trouble blocking Yan Luotian and the three elders from the Mulan Valley. As long as Medusa is given some time, it is possible to defeat one of them, Fama by the side, who had not spoken for a long time, softly sighed. Xiao Ding and the others also sighed when they heard this. Although this was indeed the case, that fellow was undertaking a retreat. Who knew just when it would end? KK, Queen Medusa. Don't blame us for not being a gentleman. After all, you are not some weakling. If we don't join hands, it is likely that we would be unable to do anything to you. The flickering gold goose wings on Yan Luotian's back were flapped as he laughed toward the solemn Medusa. If you want to join hands then just do so. There is no need to find some sad-sounding excuse. Aren't you afraid of disgracing your status as the sect leader of the gold geese sect? Medusa coldly laughed. Her words were filled with ridicule. Yan Luotian laughed. However, he was unconcerned with Medusa's ridicule. He clenched his hand and a golden glow appeared. Finally, it transformed into a strange golden-colored longsword. The longsword was covered with goose feathers like sharp thorns. He he, sect leader Yan, Queen Medusa is not an ordinary person. Even by joining hands, we will not pose much pressure to her, 
a Mulan Valley elder whose robe showed a black bear on it laughed in a somewhat sharp voice while a blood-red glow flickered across his dense eyes. Yan Luotian laughed. His eyes glanced at the enormous black mountain fortress behind only to suddenly speak, Queen Medusa, all we are after is the Jiuma Empire. It has not much to do with your snake people race. If you are willing to lead your snake people race away from this place, our three large empires will promise to allow you to reproduce on this plot of land. Why do you wish to join them in their dying struggle? Medusa's eyes indifferently swept over him when she heard this. She questioned, do you really treat this queen as a three-year-old? Isn't saying such things now a little too childish? The smile on Yan Luotian's face became slightly stiff. He gently shook the goosewing sword in his hand and laughed faintly, in that case, I will make the snake people race disappear from this northwestern region forever. With you. Medusa raised her eyebrows. The ridicule on her bewitching face was even greater. By the three elders from the Mulan Valley and me. Yan Luotian laughed. He turned his head to the three elders from the Mulan Valley. Three elders, let's do it. I. The three green-robed elders nodded when they heard this. They immediately took a step back and formed a brilliant formation that could attack and defend. Following the appearance of this formation, three powerful dochis that were green, red and blue surged out from the bodies of the three of them. The dochi that surged out did not scatter. Instead, they moved in that formation and rushed out. Finally, the three dochis intertwined with each other and formed a perfect ring that linked the essence of the three of them. Following the completion of the ring, the robes of the three elders immediately unleashed an earth-shaking beast roar that was filled with a savage aura. Their clothes flapped and the fierce lion, tiger and bear turned into a bloody red energy. The energy surged out and covered the bodies of the three people. When this blood-red energy surged out, the fighting aura belonging to the three old men also gradually scattered. Replacing them was a frightening aura that was not any weaker than Yan Luotian's aura. KK, the Mulan Valley's three beast savage skill is indeed worthy of being a middle de class chi method that has been passed down from ancient times. Such a combined body effect is really incomparably marvelous, Yan Luotian immediately laughed out loud as he sensed the majestic aura that was faintly emitting a savage feeling. However, a deep greediness flashed across his eyes while he laughed. It is but some fluff. How could it be more intricate than the sky-walking goose agility do technique of the gold geese sect? The blood-red energy wrapped around the three green-robed elders. Finally, it transformed into a blood-red beast head on their heads. Looking from a distant, the three elders from the Mulan Valley seemed to have become three half-human half-beast creatures. That voice from earlier had been emitted from the mouth of the old man who had transformed into a tiger-headed human. Perhaps it was due to the Qi method but this old man's voice also faintly carried a tiger roar that shook one's soul. Medusa's eyes were solemn as they swept over the three elders from the Mulan Valley. She also sighed softly in his heart. A big fight today was indeed unavoidable. Medusa swiftly focused her mind after she sighed. She tossed aside the distractions in her heart. A majestic seven-colored energy surged out from her body like a torrent before turning into a seven-colored rainbow that fell from the sky. Her body was in the middle of that rainbow. Yan Luotian's eyes shrank slightly when he saw this aura of Medusa. She was indeed worthy of being in existence who could contend with that abnormal fellow from the poison sect. He admitted that he was inferior to that majestic Dochi. However, it was fortunate that he was not alone today. He quietly gave a look to the three elders of the Mulan Valley. Immediately, the four people shot out together. They instantly unleashed an earth-shaking dochi that caused a countless number of people below to feel a fear. Yan Luotian's speed was extremely quick. In merely a breath, he had appeared in front of Medusa. The goosewing sword in his hand shook, and the sword shot out like a poisonous serpent. A sharp sword aura caused the surrounding space to fluctuate intensely. Medusa's expression did not change as she observed this sudden attack. She clenched her delicate hand and a seven-colored snake-shaped long sword agglomerated and appeared. She swung her hand and the sword's body was twisted into a strange arc. 
its tip went around the goosewing sword on Yan Luotian's hand and immediately pushed violently forward. Humph! A frightening force swarmed over from the body of the sword. Yan Luotian let out a muffled snort and the large goosewings on his back suddenly flapped. The goosewings immediately became like sharp arrows as they attacked every single part of Medusa's body. The long sword in Medusa's hand emitted a clear sword whistle as she sensed the cold air around her. The long sword immediately shook and dense after images quickly appeared, covering her body within a short instance. Chiang! Chiang! The goose wings shot over and smashed against the dense sword images. The sword images swiftly transformed into nothingness as both parties depleted their strength. The moment the sword images finally transformed into nothingness, Yan Luotian's eyes flickered. A seal was formed in his hand and a bright golden light that contained a powerful energy surfaced in front of him. Finally, it shot toward Medusa, who was close by. The seven colored sword images flashed. Medusa was just about to receive this attack head on when a low and deep roar that contained a savage aura suddenly appeared behind her. A sharp fist wind that carried the sharp sound of space tearing violently appeared. The sudden sneak attack caused Medusa's face to change a little. She clenched her delicate hand and a seven-colored energy swiftly agglomerated. Finally, she violently threw it to her back. Bang! The clear sound of energy exploding suddenly resounded over the sky. Medusa let out a muffled snort in front of a countless number of gazes and her body withdrew over ten steps. On the other hand, Yan Luotian and the three Mulan elders only took two steps back. Clearly, Medusa was at a disadvantage by fighting two people in this exchange by herself. Despicable. Fighting two against one and yet you still dare to use a sneak attack. Hai Badong and the others on the wall once again let out a furious curse upon seeing this. Ha ha, Medusa, it seems that you were seriously injured in your fight with the sect leader of the poison sect. I want to see just what you can rely on to block us today. Yan Luotian laughed out loud. A joy erupted in his eyes when he learned of Medusa's injuries. Medusa's face was chilly. She did not argue with him as the dochi in her body galloped like flood water. The natural energy in the outside world began to fluctuate intensely upon being beckoned by the dochi within her body. From the looks of it, it seemed that she was really planning to go all out. Yan Luotian and those three Mulan elders were startled when they saw this action of hers. They immediately laughed coldly and began to maneuver the dochi within his body. A countless number of gazes watched the intense fluctuations of natural energy in the sky. All of them knew that a frighteningly big Dozone class battle was about to completely erupt. Ugh, things are really bad.